to uh, Mich Michigan is interesting because Hill Harper, he's not from Michigan, but he's running for Senate, Democratic Senate. And I question that because when I used to attend Clubhouse and like their political rooms is more conservative rooms, Hill Harper will always be in there talking about something. Maybe he was getting a feel. This was a year, year or two ago, but maybe he was getting a feel of what he should run against. But if you don't know who Hill Harper is, he, he is an actor and a, a writer. He he is a bestseller writer. He went to Brown University and then Harvard. He actually was raised in Iowa. I believe he was born and raised in Iowa. Iowa City of all places. So I'm surprised that he signed up as a Democrat. Usually in Iowa, they're like more conservative. So that that's kind of weird, number one. And then number two, like I said, when I was in those clubhouse rooms, always in there, those Republican, Republican ran clubhouse rooms. So I'm questioning like, what is his strategy? Maybe because he wants to get the black vote, but it's interesting what he's campaigning on. Because if he's trying to get the black vote, especially in Michigan, I think he needs to think about his campaign. So this is this is um, this is his campaign page in Michigan. So if you're in Michigan, Hill Harper is running. He's running as a Democrat. Like I said, it's odd to see for him to run Democrat because what I've known from him, he he's pretty conservative. So maybe he's playing this identity politics, but his priorities on running is climate justice. Who cares? <laughs> the reason why I'm saying that is who cares about climate justice if I don't have a job? So him and I guess he maybe he talked to Gretchen, Gretchen, the governor here. She She's on this big old Bidenomics climate change bandwagon. She wants to convert all her big three motor companies to EMVs. She's spearheading that campaign. That's what Biden is pushing. By 2030, or maybe it's 2035, all vehicles will be electric vehicles. I don't think it was well thought through. They're trying to say, hey, we need to deplete our dependency on fossil fuel. But where will we get this energy to power our electric vehicles? Because 90% of electrics, electricity comes from fossil fuels. We have some turbines and or turbines in some areas, but 90% of electricity that's generated comes from fossil fuels, coal fired plants. Okay, so I don't know if this thing is thought through. Then another thing I want to point out, climate ch climate change and this Hill Harper, meet Hill Harper. I, I don't know why he didn't put his face on there. That's kind of weird. Um, he He's a single dad and his climate change priority. Um, if you're trying to get the vote of the people in Michigan, we're, we're a big, hey, work state. Um, what do I want to call it? Um, most most of our economy is generated off of probably insurance and big three. Probably big three is one of the major components of our economy. Then you have these tier two and tier three motor companies. So you're saying that we want to adopt electric vehicles and reduce emissions. And I already pointed pointed out to you guys, 90% of our electricity comes from fossil fuels. So I don't think it was well thought through. And then once we change all these facilities to electrical vehicles, who is going to be able to afford it? Most of these systems will be robotics. And then we will have a massive unemployment. There was another article I read about Ford motor, motor Company. Ford lost nine billion last year on electric vehicles. So is this sustainable? Maybe the goal is too aggressive. I'm not saying that they cannot do it, but I think the goal is too aggressive. And how are you going to tell 
Stellantis, which is a foreign company that owns Chrysler now. Ford Motor Company, which they do have plants in Mexico and all these other foreign countries. And GM. How are you going to convince them to stay in the UN, unionized state and train these workers to stay here? How, how are you going to convince them? Because like another thing about Michigan, the taxes are high. Maybe they'll get a, a, a decrease in corporate taxes, but the taxes are high. I have a corporation in Michigan and I pay wazoo in taxes. So, I, and I know if I'm paying the wazoo in taxes, these billion dollar corporations, they're paying something. I know they're getting kickbacks incentive, incentivizing um, these corporations for transferring their vehicles to electrical vehicles, but are you gonna keep the jobs here? That's the main issue. So now you're pushing this effort. And I said, our economy is trade workers. I didn't use the word trade workers, but that's the word I'm looking for. Our economy is mostly trade workers. And so you're telling all these trade professionals, hey, you can't make $100,000 a year um, anymore. You got to go work at Walmart or find some other skill. You got to go back to school and find some other skill. These guys been working years at, at the motor company. You know who's going to be pissed off? These men, the men that work at the motor company and you telling them they don't got no damn job anymore because you want to save the environment. <laughs> Let me know if I'm talking sense, if I'm just talking out of my, my neck. But one thing I do know, I, I my experience is, uh, look, I spent years in producing fossil fuel. That's what my background is. And I spent years in petroleum in the industry. And then I've been spent years with a man that been working in the union at one of the motor companies. He's been 25 years in. And so you are telling me that we're switching everything over to electrical vehicles and where these jobs going to be. It's, ch it's cheaper to make them in Mexico. The, they don't require the same parts. So not only are you destroying the industry here, you're going to destroy all these uh, tier three, tier two companies that they make parts specifically for engine, diesel engine, fuel power engine parts. And you're saying, oh, we don't need those no more. We just need a capacitor in a battery. And where is that made? At? Probably China. So we probably be more assembly plants that will be taken over by robotics. Let me know if I'm talking out the side of my neck. Let me know. Let me show you this um, Ford Motor Company. This, this is the news from Fortune, Fortune Magazine. Ford expects to bleed 4.5 billion on electric cars this year, but it makes enough on everything else that it might not matter. Yeah, right. $4.5 million is a lot to be putting in to something that you ain't making a profit off of. Are we saying this is research? They didn't say it was research. They making vehicles that they ain't going to be selling. And it's not letting me read the article because I don't want to pay for it. This is crazy. It says Ford loses nearly $60,000 for every electric vehicle sold. Th that's crazy. Ford EV businesses loses too much money. How Tesla, Tesla could help. You probably need to steal some of the um, technology. <laughs> and Ford stock is down 4.52%. They profited $11.5 billion last year. Um, and it went, the losses, they lost $3 billion on EV last year. And this year it will be $4.5 million. How long would a company invest in a loss until they say, okay, we need to scrap that model. They do that all the time. They create a model. They're not making no money in it. So they're going to scrap that. They don't, they don't make that. Um, so what, what are we doing here? So back to Harper Hill. His thing is climate change. He wants to de decrease climate change. He wants sustainable sustainable transportation vehicles cause almost 75% of the carbon monoxide pollution in the U.S. It's time for Michigan to lead the way in alternative to gas-powered vehicles. Look, we're the motor, motor city, so we probably won't be able to lead the way. You got people, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't know who is his campaign manager. I think he needs to go back to the drawing board. 
Because all he's going to do is piss off pe people. You're talking about the motor city, the motor capital. And you're talking about we need to dec decrease our car buying. <laughs> decrease. We need to all go to electrical vehicles. <laughs> do you know the ramification of that? <laughs> In the filibuster, jobs and economic dignity. I don't know what that means, but uh, he wants to raise the rage, uh, wage gap and supporting small business in the private sector. That that might help people out. But as a Democrat, Democrats don't believe in businesses. They they don't. They they believe probably in minority business, giving minority businesses chances. But as far as Democrats, they they don't. They believe in social programs. And he wants to champion universal health care. He sounds like every other Democrat out there. No, no shade on Harper Hill, but every Democrat out there sounds this way. I don't know if it's going to get him across the finish line. You, you put it in the chat.